Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. This is Richard, and this is a this is an, an update, kind of sorta, on the Dollar Tree haul. So what I did was I purchased this really cool ninja punching bag from the Dollar Tree. Well, when you sit it down like this, when you let go, it falls over. It doesn't stay up. So, and it does have a bigger uh, yeah hole there so what I'm going to do is also from the Dollar Tree I'm going to add this sand to it and then I'm going to have to blow it back up of course but then the sand will sit at the bottom and hopefully will hold it upright so uh, who knew I don't know if there was any instructions for that or not, or whether it was just something you would assume would happen. So I just went in and checked the packaging and it did not say anything about needing to fill up this bottom part. So, but I opened up the bottom part and I can stick my finger in there and the bag does not deflate. And there's a little spot here now I may have to deflate the bag a little bit to get the sand in there but I'm going to pour in this black sand from the Dollar Tree and see if it'll fit and also see if it will hold up the bag and we're having problems getting it in there I think we're going to have to deflate the bag a little bit. There we go, we'll just deflate the bag. There we go, that'll be enough. Let's see if that sand will fit in there. Okay, the sand's going in. And it'll be in there a little bit at a time, so I'll get back with you after I get the sand in there. And we'll see if the sand is enough to hold it down. One bag of sand in it. It's not too bad, but eh, if I blow it up, it might hold. I'm going to put two bags in there just because I can. One bag will kind of work, and I'm pretty sure that if I blew it up it may stay there but there's no reason why I need to stop with one so I got a bag of black sand in there so now I'm gonna put a bag of white sand in there and uh, I don't know how much these things weigh it says 0.77 pounds so uh, 350 grams Two of them will definitely keep it up after I blow it up, I'm sure. One of them did pretty good. So I'll put this second one in there and I'll get right back with you guys. Um, it worked. Uh, I'm definitely, I'm not going to be playing with it. So I don't have to worry about the sand coming out. Uh, I do suggest though, uh, if you're purchasing one of these for your kids to actually punch around and play with, you're going to have to put something in the bottom uh, like sand. And I would suggest that you really fix the bottom hole well or it might pop out. But anyway, here is my Ninja Dojo Ninja Guardian. I don't know. <laughs> Little Ninja Punching Bag from the Dollar Tree. Just make sure if you're going to purchase one of these for your kids to actually play with, grab a couple bags of sand uh, at the Dollar Tree or wherever to fill up the bottom because uh, I think two is is decent enough to make it stay there you go yeah two oh, look at that is that fun or what